with a grant, we were able to install this deer fence right here in the middle of the meadow, eight foot tall, it is 800 linear feet. And what this is gonna allow me to do is to plant trees and shrubs in much higher density, more like the way that a forest would historically have grown. They were asking for projects that could support stream health, and this is in the floodplain of the creek, but they wanted things that were other than tree plantings. I suggested that we could put a fence up and plant you know, the floodplain more densely, and they liked that idea. I've actually never done this type of planting before because I've always had to plant things in cages. If I don't plant things in cages, it's just feeding the deer. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen here because I'll plant, rather than in rows in here, I'll be planting in clusters. So it'll be a couple of canopy trees, maybe some smaller trees like dogwoods, and then also clusters of shrubs all around it. And that will grow, um, hopefully, into a very high density that will also be better habitat and just better all around. I've made a lot of uh, smaller deer enclosures like this. On this preserve, I think there are six now, and there's a couple on um, some of my other preserves. Those have only like a five foot high deer fence because they are smaller, 25 foot by 25 foot. And if you keep it to a small size like that, you can um, have a lower fence and the deer just don't really jump in. When you start to get larger like this, you need the eight foot fence. And um, that's obviously a lot more expense to make an eight foot fence that's gonna be able to withstand years of being out in the elements. The thing about this preserve being only 50 acres, it's really a pretty small little uh, space of green. And types of species that do breed here are ones that are sort of the in-between species. They may hunt in meadows or in woodlands, but they sort of want this in-between habitat. It's edge habitat. I mean, it's, it's what can exist in a highly fragmented ecosystem, which is what everything here is. And the main goal is how many native leaves can I create? The more native leaves there are, the more insects there are gonna be, and that's gonna feed everything else that lives here. So in this case, it's an opportunity to make a lot of leaves. You know, you look at this 800 linear foot uh, thing, it's just about an acre of uh, space in there. And if that is all filled in with shrubs and trees and that kind of density um, in the middle of this sort of savanna area and a floodplain, it's just gonna have a lot of um, benefits to water quality, to habitat, to all of these things. And hopefully we could even get to sort of a tipping point where um, these things would be producing enough seed that when birds were in there and eating them, maybe they would start spreading them out into other parts of the reserve. And that would then mean that we'd have some native regeneration happening, which really doesn't happen here because mostly the only things that uh, I see regenerating for the most part are non-native species. You know, I suppose there's a possible scenario in the future where the deer population is reduced um, to something that um, would allow for things to grow leaves in the first four feet up from the ground. But um, I don't see that happening anytime soon. And that's why I really try when I make these fence scenarios to make them as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Um, because I think it may be here for, you know, for the foreseeable future.